We begin at six with a closer look at the coronavirus cases in Santa Barbara County. About half of all cases so far were reported over the past month. But July also brought some encouraging news about the pandemic here. News Channel reporter Scott Sheehan looks at the numbers. Anytime we're doing more testing, we're going to identify more and more. More demand for tests is part of the reason Santa Barbara County has seen such high numbers. Just under half of all cases diagnosed in July. 2,700 the nearly 5,600 total cases since the pandemic began. But July saw nearly 2,900 people recover from it. Health officers believe that quick recovery rate is due to people waiting to get tested and the longer time it takes to get the results. So if a person comes, goes to get tested, say five days into their illness, and then there's another five days before we get a result, by the time we get them and we do our investigation, that individual could, could uh, conceivably be recovered. In July, the county's death rate from COVID-19 went down. Three people died in July, while 17 passed away in June. The added tests also helped bring that rate down. Earlier diagnosis, earlier treatment and um, and so that that makes a big difference when a person is is has sought uh, treatment earlier always ensures a better outcome. Batson says because there's a lag between when you take your test and the results come back to stay home and remain isolated until you get your results. And she says most people, especially those who aren't feeling well, are doing just that. In order to be counted as recovered, someone can't show fever signs for at least 24 hours. And the best thing everyone can do to lessen the spread is stay home as much as possible and always wear a mask in public. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter. Scott